Good morning. Oh, fogging up. Fogging up. Day number 25. Literally just woke up. Figured I'd mention, I haven't talked to you guys about it in a while. We only got a week left of the 30 day fishing shirts. If you haven't picked one up yet and you think they look cool and you want to buy one, click that link in the description below. It was basically just to help float me through the 30 day challenge. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you go pick up one of these shirts. I wasn't sure where I was going to go fishing today until about five minutes ago when I woke up. My buddy Jay texted me and said, it's not supposed to rain until 12 or 1. Come over to Barcroft. Let's do some fishing. And I said, all right, I'll be there. So that's where we're going. Gonna load some rods in the truck. We're going over to Barcroft. No idea what to expect, but hopefully we'll be dry. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> it's right on this boat. <laughs> Me and my buddy Jay, riding gravity, are out on Barcroft. Don't really have any plans for the day. We're just gonna get out and see what we can catch. I don't have any ideas for a challenge. I don't have any ideas of what homemade to talk lures. about. Oh yeah, we can talk about your homemade lures. Those will be cool. Jay's been pouring his own plastics. They look pretty sweet. So that's what we'll do. We'll fish some of his homemade hand poured plastics today and see if we can catch some donkey bass. Check these guys out. These are pretty sick. What do you call this one, Jay? Check that out. Uh, Battle Bug 1.0. Battle Bug <laughs> version one. It's still in beta. Beta testing right now, that's what we're doing. It looks pretty good though. I really like how these crawls have like the flared out ends to it. Creates a bunch of kick. But I like the color. It's like a June bug color, a bunch of different flakes in there. What else you got? Let's see what else we're working with today. Okay, it's like a little twin tail grub kind of deal. Yeah, that one works really well. There we go. These feel pretty good. These feel like Yamamoto quality. Oh my goodness. There's a person behind me. <laughs> and then we got the swim bait. Kai Tech look alike. I like this color. Go. Got him. Come on. There we go. Jay just caught that, two, two and a half, on his custom-made swim bait. There it is. A little one. Little guy. Again on the underspin, there it is. He's two for two. I think these fish want something with a little flash. Since Jay caught two with an underspin, I think that should do all right. Let's we'll see. Did you just get whacked? Yeah. On the jig? I brought Mo out. He was throwing this Magnum Lures uh, crawdad on uh, like this I big saw like, that. DRT jig. Yeah. I have a Mag Lures crawdad that he gave me, dude. It's Do you really? Six and a half. Can I see it? Yeah. I was looking where to buy them, dude, because I want to. Oh my god. Check that thing out. That is sick. Throw it. You'll get bit. You can spray it with the juice. Dude, that is a massive freaking crawl bait. It's as big as my hand. What is it, six inches? Yeah, I think it is. It's huge. That's on a six side swim bait hook. <laughs> I actually might take you up on that and throw it, but I'm gonna try to catch a fish first. We're gonna throw that thing, that's insane. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there we go, fish number three. I need to catch up, Jay is smoking them right now. I just keep messing around tying on new lures. There we go. Jay's on a run. Oh, on your custom bait, nice. That's what I have on the uh, the jig right now too. All of the fish have been, all three of your fish shallow. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, baby. Little one, first fish of the day. Woo! On the jig with Jay's, what was it called again? Uh, called the Battle Bug. The Battle Bug. <laughs> there we go, little guy. See ya. Oh, nice. Dude, that is so funny. That fish came out of nowhere and hammered it. Nice. Oh, on the frog. Hell yeah. Frog fish. I think that's by Lunker Hunt too, right? Oh, there's a fish. Hang on. Dude, he hit it. It was running so fast, I didn't even realize. Jig fish. That's hilarious. I had to do like a Lots real fish. awkward hook set. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just talking about that frog and paying no attention to my line just took off. I mean, he hit it so hard and just started cruising. Two pounder. Eh, pound and three quarters. Fish number two. Okay. So 
we've caught five fish in the matter of probably about an hour. Caught them on jigs. Jay's caught one on a frog and two on an underspin. Now it's time to throw the absolute gigantic craw bait. This is gonna get a big bite, I hope. But I'm gonna tie this thing on and probably throw it around for most of the day till I get bit on it. Magnum Mauler. Magnum Mauler. That's the name of this ridiculous gigantic beaver bait. bait. Cast number one. This thing is huge. Feels like I'm throwing a swim bait. Mm -hmm. it's, the, bait it's the swim bait of plastics. I have a feeling I'm not gonna get bit very much with this, but when I do, it should be a decent sized fish. But that was nuts. Oh, 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 I think I got a bite. Some bit it. Boom. That might Why have been the one that bit it. It might have been, yeah. I definitely had a bite up there. Solid fish. When that thing came up, it looked like a freaking giant. <laughs> it's going crazy. Nice catch. Another two pounder. I'm gonna throw Mondo Saurus Rex here for at least an hour. It's 10.30. Throw it till 11.30. Hopefully we can get bit on it. Oh, oh. Got him. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. No. That was sick. That was awesome. Three? D two and a half. Three. It wasn't a giant, but dude, he hammered it. That gives me a ton of confidence. I mean, again, I really don't know if you guys can get the full effect of how big this bait is. It's freaking gigantic. Like. Next year, yeah, let's see. This is a, well, let me find a bait that people would know. Okay, here we go. So for a comparison, that's a regular size pit boss. I think these are four inches. It just, the, it fits on the whole body of this thing. It's gigantic. Here's a five inch Sanko. Now I'm determined. I think it's gonna happen. Damn, I can't believe he didn't get pinned, yo. I thought I set the hook on him pretty good. Oh, I thought so too. Oh. oh god that's a big fish take it oh, oh it's a catfish it is yeah catfish yeah it is <laughs> nice where the hell did he come from oh really nice oh oh it came off dang it that was a good bite in there too man damn i was going too fast no that's not your fault i shouldn't have even cast another bite on the megasaurus rex just waiting for the five pounder to choke it down. Oh, eat it, come on. I just, oh, so you got it, yep. Got him. Oh God, that was a giant. Dude, Dude that, that was, was huge. huge that was massive. That was a really big fish. Oh, but that was a that good was bite. Like, Five? Six? Uh, you think bigger? I don't know. Like, I was thinking probably six, man. That thing, its head was big. Yeah, that was a massive fish. I was about to lean down and try to grab it almost. That was like probably a five or six pounder. It had a real minimum, big head. Minimum. I only saw its head. Did you see its body at all? I just saw its head, dude. Yeah, all I, I saw it. And I know I could have put my whole hand in there. Yeah, no doubt. It's all good. Hopefully, I can. I just want to catch one I on it. I want to see that. Oh my god! Did you see that? Dude, Dude, I saw him follow it up. That was crazy. That was nuts. He followed it under the dock. That's crazy, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a big fish. Take your time with it. You want me to grab her? Um, I think it's been pretty good. Yeah, careful. Oh god. Ah, I got her. That's a stud, dude. Dude, I wish you would have seen it, dude. I pulled it right under the corner of the dock, and it came from under the dock, and I saw it. I was like, what the? Solid fish. Absolutely smoked that spook. Like, it scared me. It was so loud. That was awesome. Biggest fish of the day. So far, we still got a little bit of time out here. I'm not putting this big bait down until I catch a fish on it, because I missed that giant. But that's a solid fish right there.
Oh. Nice, nice. Oh. Get in here, get in here. Boom. <laughs> oh, yes. Got him. On the beast. Oh, no. Oh, oh he just spit up a Senko, dude. Look at that. This just came out of his mouth. Greedy fish. That's awesome. On the Magnum Mauler. Megasaurus Rex. Hell yeah, and that fish just spit up that Senko. That's crazy. Look at that bait. It's like as big as the bait. I didn't want to miss that one. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. There we go, fish number three for me. See bud. I'm not putting it down. Double up. Boom. Well, sort of. Back to back. Oh, that's a catfish? No, it's a bass. He's Why just really... purple? He's just kind of light in color. That's weird. He's really... Yeah, he has like that purple tint to him, no doubt. Which is my... I don't know why I said double up. <laughs> <laughs> it was close. <laughs> oh, yeah. Little one. Little guy. The bite's definitely turned on a bit. We kind of had that little lull. Wall again. Nice catch. The day is mainly consisted of Texas rigs, jigs. He caught the one fish on top water. Um, and then the bites that I've had on this giant Texas rig. All right, so we caught two fish on the Magnum Molar, the Megasaurus Rex, as I was like to call it. Uh, and then the bait flew off and we lost it unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to buy more of those because they are actually pretty sweet. I actually ended up catching the two smallest fish that I hooked on it. I missed the giant and then had a couple other decent fish hooked up to it. But I'm gonna stick with the big plastics game here and I didn't bring any myself because I was trying to travel light so Jay is supplying all of my plastics today but this is a big man's jelly worm. I'm gonna throw this around. See if we can get some more big fish to bite. Uh, I think I got a fish. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, oh sorry. No, I missed him. <laughs> oh, what? He popped off. I didn't mean to hit you in the face no, there. That fish was just running right at the boat. He was, I was like, than the worm. Yeah, he was. <laughs> we switched back to the jig. Though I did get bit on the jelly worm, I just think it's a little bit too light. I want to catch a big fish. They're biting, so. I wish I still had the Megasaurus. I need to buy some of those things. Dude, that thing was putting in work today. Yeah. That's like probably, that is the biggest plastic I've ever, oh, thrown. Big. Oh, yeah. Feels decent. But he's shrinking. Oh. It's not a bad fish. watercolor yeah it's like a three Hell yeah. not bad ate the jig real good beautiful fish yeah all these fish are really light and I was saying something about that the other day when I was fishing and see ya a couple yeah a couple people said that it has to do with the dirtiness of the water be there be there very last cast. All right, that's it. Fun day. All right, guys, first and foremost, I woke up this morning and I checked YouTube and we hit 40,000 subscribers. So I just wanted to take a second and thank each and every one of you for being part of the SB Fishing family. I really do appreciate it. I think we've grown an awesome community here. It's just something that I never thought would get as big as it has and it's an amazing feeling. And we're just continuing to grow, and it's all thanks to you guys. So I really, again, truly appreciate it. Thank you all so much. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Now we can talk a little bit about the day. I had no plan when I woke up yesterday. I was just like, let's just go fish. You know, fishing every single day and being an absolutely horrible planner like myself, 
I didn't have a plan. I said, we're going to Barcroft, and we'll just, you know, go do some fishing. And then I just stumbled upon this giant bait that Jay had, and he said, go ahead and throw it around, you know, go for it. It's the Magnum Baits Mauler. You guys saw it a bunch in this video, and I definitely recommend trying that thing out. It surprised the hell out of me. I was not expecting to get as many bites as I did. Probably had eight or nine bites throughout the day. The second fish, which I didn't put in this video because I lost the clip, was actually about a pound and a quarter. It was tiny. And it's super surprising to me because that bait is just so big. So I started thinking about it a little bit more and what it comes down to is I really don't think many fish anywhere are seeing creature baits that big. Sure they're seeing the big 10 and 12 inch worms which a lot of us throw but how often do they see a six and a quarter inch thick bodied creature bait? They just they don't. So I'm on Tackle Warehouse right now. I found them on there and I'm about to buy some. Definitely gonna fish them on more bodies of water around here whenever they come in. Definitely looking forward to throwing them around a bit more. You guys should check them out too. So I've got to go fishing today. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go or what I'm gonna do, but we'll see where the day brings us. Thank you all so much again for subscribing. We hit 40K, I'm super stoked about it. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it. We'll see you tomorrow.